so here we have the very lovely Mistletane. And she is outfitted with Triumph's grab rail and rear rack kit, on top of which sits GV's uh, E, I think it's 261 um, universal top case rack. And that's bolted down uh, from the bottom, so it is extremely stable. Like, that's not gonna come off. Uh, I also, when I had the V40 on, I had the plate slid out a little bit because of the way that the back of the case, the V40 curves, it would kind of, it needed extra space to avoid the grab rail. And speaking of grab rail, problem with this one is it curves backwards. Like it has an angle rather than coming up straight from the seat. That would give me a lot, a little bit more room to push forward so it doesn't hang off as much as it does. But it's not, it doesn't seem to be an issue. Let's see how the Alaska mounts. There we go, just slide it on in. Now, from the few, from the few times I've tried to uh, take off and put on the case, I found that it's a little bit difficult, she's a little tricky. So what I do is I keep the case unlocked, I hit the wire release system to retract the latch a little bit, and then push down. And unfortunately, when you secure this thing in place, it doesn't have a very loud click like the other cases. Like, okay, so here is the side case. When you release it, you get a good click. And then when you put it back on, you get a very, very confidence inspiring click that it is attached properly. With the top case, I didn't even hear it this time, but it's latched because I know I can do that. So let's try it again. Now you hear the click when you release it, but when you're not, when you're putting it on, it's very very quiet, or it doesn't sound at all. So that's off. Yeah, see, it doesn't click when it comes on, but it clicks when you release. So if yours is having this kind of, this little quirk as well, I'm not sure if this is a common thing because nobody's put out a video on these top cases yet. So right now it's latched on. And there's your release. So what I do is I kind of just pre-release it and then there, no click, but you, and if the key tag was in the way, you might have noticed that the release latch kind of shifted. And that's how I'm gonna know that it's locked. So one more time. And because this takes a little bit more force than the V40 did, I'm holding the bottom of the rack as well, just so I get that. There. All right, and there it is. One other thing to note with how I have this set up is that when I open my side cases, when I open my side cases, there actually isn't enough clearance to cleanly separate or to cleanly open the lid. As you can see, kind of knocks, but I, I don't think it'll be a problem. All I have to do is just kind of pull that out of the way. There'll be a little rubbing, but that's not too big of an issue. And, oh yeah, just gotta make sure to do that on the way up and the way down. Just kind of pull the lid out of the way. I'm pretty sure it can withstand that. Otherwise, if I really wanted to be careful, I would go ahead and let that hold it easy system that we installed on this, let the rack hang and that way, you can open it with no issues.
And that's actually what this was designed for anyways. So <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be using it a lot more. And here she is, Mistletane with a full set of GV Alaska luggage. The 36 liter side cases, which I have decorated with things that interest me. And the 30 or 56 liter top case. And I do believe, if my math is correct, this gives me and Mistletane, as you can see, a whopping 128 liters of storage. Honestly, I don't think it looks too bad. And I, I have ridden this both on city streets and the highway, and I'm pleased to report that I experienced no issues. Like you might think that because it's so big back there, uh, it might be a little unstable or top heavy. I haven't noticed that. The top case I believe is around 10 pounds by itself or six pounds, somewhere in that area. Um, really not an issue for me. I can still control the bike. She's only a little bit less nimble than she was with the V40. Now the next thing we do, we stick her bomb. And I already have a few decals I wanna put on here. Four to six days later. So it's now a few days later uh, after first mounting the Alaska Trekker top box. And as you can see, I've already put some decals on it, uh, but two things came in. First, we have the uh, GV E161 top case net. Uh, and this is designed for the Trekker Outback, uh, but it fits inside the Alaska top case, as we'll soon see. And then we also have an inner lining, the E201, also for the Trekker Outback, but it fits in the Alaska. So let's open this up and see what they look like inside. So the first thing that we see is the liner. And the liner actually is quite nice. Um, it fits pretty well inside the case. Kind of just acts like that. So when you buy it, it comes in kind of, I guess, deconstructed. Just kind of flat like that. And then you just fold it up to form a box with uh, these Velcro straps. One thing that I think is really interesting or really cool about this is these right here. This is a separate strip of Velcro. Uh, so you can have added um, stability so it doesn't, so it can actually stick to the walls of the top case. I don't know if I'm gonna be using those just yet. So you just kind of line up the Velcro. Oh. Line up the Velcro to create the shape and then just drop it in. I figured since there's nothing under the liner, I can just store my security cable in there. And once you have it in that general shape, you just drop it in. Just like that. And it fills the case out rather nicely. So, you know, you can put stuff in here and they won't rattle around which I think is really nice. The E201 inner lining also includes a lid liner. Uh, and it's, I guess, supposed to be held in place by these four elastic uh, bands up here, but they don't exactly fit with the hooks that I have the net attached to. And it kind of just doesn't feel right. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna use this yet either. I know I just said that the lid liner probably wasn't gonna work out because there wasn't anything for the uh, elastic corners to attach to, but I did some thinking and I found these short uh, coarse threaded screws around my garage. And all I did was screw that into these uh, 
these little studs here. I don't know what these are actually for, but that's what I'm gonna use them for. And then I wrap the elastic around it at least twice. So that way it stays put. So I can now use the lid liner and it will stay in place. The net is a pretty good quality. I just don't wanna put anything too heavy in here. I tried putting my tool roll in here and it just kind of sagged like crazy. So I'm only gonna use this for lighter stuff. I think this is gonna be probably the final luggage configuration I have on Mistletane. And with that, we've come to the end of my overview of the GV Trekker Alaska 52 liter top case made out of aluminum. I think I'm gonna really like this box. It's very spacious. And with the liners, things won't rattle around as much. The net also adds some extra carrying capacity. So if you stuck around this long, uh, thanks for watching. Stick around for more motorcycle and music videos.